on the bottom of the sneaker there is where it says Air Max it does actually have the word God in Arabic actually written on the bottom of the sneaker and that's extremely offensive um, to Islam and the religion and I think this is this is something that Nike need to take a stand of they have actually released um, following on from Hype Beast, um, forward actually speaking with them, they actually came out and responded. That's and they said Nike respects all religions and we take concerns of this nature seriously. The Air Max logo was designed to be stylized representation of Nike Air Max's trademark. It is intended to reflect the Air Max brand only. Any other perceived meaning or representation is unintentional. So I think despite them saying that they should make actually a bigger change for this and um, this is not the first time Nike have um, had this sort of controversy. Um, they were actually um, under some pressure earlier in um, actual I think it's actually 1996 was first on the billboard and it was mishandling a phrase and um, I think then on nearly 40,000 pairs of a shoe a year later it, and it was uh, extremely offensive back in the 90s so I think they, they have done this in the past but um, I think for, for it to have the word God on the back it is disrespectful for it to be on the bottom of a sneaker where people will be walking tramping on dirt I think it's um, extremely offensive and I think they should revisit um, the actual branding of that sneaker considering that a lot of their sales are made in the Middle East where Islam is of the religion and it is made across the world um, I think they will be massively affected by this and I think considering 6,000 people have already come up forward to sign the petition I think uh, Nike will definitely be reconsidering this I think it's, it's very important that Nike and brands, brands overall should respect all religions